Welcome to my kitchen. Oh. Welcome to In My Kitchen with Logan Nelson. Today, we are lucky enough to have a special guest with us, Abigail Breslin. We begin our segment with cocktail time, and then we will follow up with meal time, and then maybe we'll do a little dessert time. This morning, we will be making cranberry butter babies. Let's go! To make a cranberry butter baby, you need four ingredients, cranberry juice, butter, a splash of Pinot Grigio, and an old tea bag. So these are perfect for any type of event, weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, pet <laughs> funerals, pet births, just a splash of Pinot. An old, old festering. You want to make sure it doesn't overflow. When the cup runneth over, the party's over. Perfect. <laughs> it looks nice. You're right, Abigail Breslin. It does look nice. And you know what? It tastes even better. Ah. For our next course, we have a delicious ganoush. <laughs> the ingredients are as follows. Organic roasted garlic hummus, some Jolly Rogersons, a bowl of ice cubes, prosciutto, sriracha, mother's best potato salad, and of course a little dash of peanut. And the secret ingredient is a single coldies for that special kick. Let's go. So the best way to chop something is if you have a cutting board and you put another cutting board on it and then you place another cutting board on it. What we really want to do is a lot of people would just scoop some hummus in, but the key to good hummus work is to actually slice the hummus. And you go like this, very good, very good, and then you take it and you just whammo! Game day! Now the best way to handle deli meats is to actually put it in a salad spinner because they're very, very delicate, just like me. Oh. It takes a gentle touch. Well, that seems about good. It really, you want to have those dimples, just a light, a light and breezy air to it. My favorite flavors are the color blue. It's like, it's like, you know, it's like cracking a lobster. <laughs> Abigail, come on. <laughs> Don't be scared. If you have a pizza slicer, you should be able to slice a Jolly Roger for it. Now, we're actually not looking to cut it completely. We're just looking to texturize it. We're going to texturize this Jolly Roger. And once you texturize the Jolly Roger, it really just lets the flavors just pour out of its, out of its, ooh, 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 ooh. Do you see those canyons? Listen, music to my ears. About now is when I would look to add my croutons. Measure twice, cut once. It's like Christmas morning looking at these tongs. Oh, Kobe! <laughs> all right, next is my favorite ingredient of all time, shrarachno. You know, I'm gonna need a second hand for this. I mean, a third hand. <laughs> Abigail, come on, don't be shy! Don't be shy, Abigail! And my favorite part is I like to make designs with the sriracha. And then within the middle, you create some sort of fun emoticon. That one's for the kids, I know they like emoticons. And this one's smiling, as am I. All right, and because that sriracha is so darn hot, we need to add a few cubes in there to cool things down. Find the best potato chunk. It needs to be the best potato chunk. Because if you get the wrong potato chunk, this whole thing is just gonna be goofed up. Smell it, cameraman. It has a nice diameter, has a nice circumference. If you waft it, it has that nice potato-y, starchy scent. Abigail, 
it's all in the flick of the wrist. It's all in the flick of the wrist. Oh. This is why I do it, Pino. Fountain of Youth, our last and final ingredient that makes this whole operation electric. Cherry flavored, because I'm not a barbarian. <laughs> Are we ready to mix things up? We just put our delicious ganoush in the microwavable oven. Careful, it's hot. Oh. <laughs> It is, and if you've done it right, it should be encoded in a plastic wrapping. Up next, we have our very is that basil growing on the window? It is pronounced basil. Next up, we have our delicious, 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 delicious. De next up, we have our delicious desserts. Today, we'll be we will be making. <laughs> Perfect happy go lucky boys. And friend boys with smiles. Macintosh baby boys. Homemade <laughs> with a new smile. Homemade baby bumbling boys with a brand new smile. We will be making apple babies with smiles everywhere. For this delicious, delicious, del you will need an apple, a slice of Joseph Rutt, your favorite Sharpie permanent marker, and two, mm, God. Two tiny picks. Let's do it. In a perfect world, I would be wearing my precaution safety gloves and some goggles, but we're doing things a little risky today. <laughs> Form is everything. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Any variety of gum will work, but if you have standards, you'll use juicy fruit. You want to give your apple baby some hair. Touch it. Firm. But not too firm. Form a bond with it. Form a relationship. Get to know it. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Draw the face of your choice. Preferably a happy boy. He's saying, what are you doing? Who put me here? What's going on? <coughs> I really relate to that. A big happy boy smile. It's definitely got some girth on it. No teeth. Never teeth. Abigail? Would you like to try a bite of this perfect baby bumbling apple boy? Sure. <laughs> Today we've managed to make a delicious cranberry butter baby, a scrumptious ganache, and a happy baby bumbling apple boy with a sense of accomplishment and no teeth. And I am so excited to have been joined by my perfectly respectful guest, Abigail Brazine. Thank you for watching In My Kitchen with Logan Nelson, where all the food is mediocre. I'm just saying.